Hello everyone! I've been putting off this update mainly because there's been so many life-changing things. Yeah, I'm gonna get the ground running, I'm gonna just do missions video stuff and that'll be it, but I think God is opening up different ways for me to really love on people well. And so, really, really excited about that. So here's some things that I've been up to recently. In June, I was helping Ed and Val with a lot of different ministry stuff. Uh, June 22nd was my last day at language school. We had my civil wedding on June 23rd. Thank you for, for joining us today. But Danny and I decided that, that we were gonna be legally married, but we weren't gonna actually like live together and start our lives together until July 1st. The 23rd to the 25th, I moved all my stuff into what is this kind of house complex here. Uh, which is super exciting. I hopefully will give you guys a tour of that at some point. I stayed with Annabelle until the first and basically would sleep over there and come over here and clean and organize and get everything ready for the wedding and also just for moving in and making sure the home when we returned was something that was more of a home and less of just a house. My family, Tom Gill, my pastor from the home church and Trevor all came for the wedding and Ben and Cameron came and the, there was so, so many people who were supporting me externally, but I'm super excited that they decided to come and to visit because we were trying to have a small wedding. Daniela, one day before the wedding, paid off her student loan debt which was incredible. Um, I'm so proud of her and like, it's a super cool achievement. We got married, woo! So July 1st, we had our wedding ceremony and it was beautiful. If you haven't seen it, you can watch a live stream on my YouTube channel. We went to Roatan for one week and basically just enjoyed our time there. It's so beautiful. It was the first time Danielle had ever been on an airplane, the first time she'd ever been to Roatan, so, it was a fun time. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, you are so good. All right, yeah. come on over here now. There you go, big boy. Came home and started working on life again and just preparing for the next step of ministry with getting meetings set up for different things and filming for Ed and Val a little bit and just getting the house all set up more. When we did end up coming back, the Pila, which is where you kind of store water outside and you wash your clothes and you wash dishes a lot of times in traditional hunter and houses was swarmed with mosquito larvae just swimming all over there and it was disgusting. And so through that process, our drain was broken. We couldn't drain the water out. We were trying to figure that out. So that took me like a day to try and figure out all that. And we had some people come fix it, which was wonderful. But it was definitely more time consuming than I was expecting. And then mosquitoes are absolutely terrible here. Like we, we had, you know, 30 to 50 mosquitoes in our house every single night. So one of the things that I did was I sealed up every single window crack to try and eliminate some of those mosquitoes because Daniela every night bumps on her from getting bitten again and again and again. It was a war. Thankfully, since the house has been sealed up, it's been a lot better. Um, we're still having some issues with some things. So I started having meetings with missions partners, and part of what that was is trying to figure out what the direction I'm going in, where are some ministries that I need to be filming to, to just help them and what they're doing, and kind of starting what I feel like the Lord is leading me towards in my mission. I'll be doing a lot of work in August and I'm super excited about that, working with different mission organizations. I helped Ed and Val bring a team in from the San Pedro Sula airport. Uh, it's around four, four and a half hours depending on traffic and depending on which road you drive. And so uh, the first day we went to go pick them up, wasn't too bad. We left at like six something in the morning, six or seven in the morning. And we got back, you know, around dinner time, 6 p.m. Um, and it was fun. I really enjoyed getting to interact with the team. Talking with Ed for those times was so, so, so beneficial and so good. In that time, the team was here. So we had a VBS day that I was filming. We had a trauma conference that was five hours long. And I documented the whole thing. I filmed the whole trauma conference. So that way, people in the future can look back at this trauma conference and watch it and get the information out that was said in this conference. On the way back though, for taking the team back to the airport, we had to leave at 8 p.m. at night 
And the reason we did that was because almost all the gas stations, all the stores, they close around 10 to 11 p.m. at night. And so um, we drove four hours, you know, and we had that half stop in around Sequoia Becca area. Um, and then we waited in the airport from 12 a.m. to around like 4 a.m. is when they, they got over to the other side and started to, to leave. We ended up driving and driving, and we ended up getting back at around 10 a.m. after eating some breakfast. And, I mean, just trying to stay awake for that time. We, we slept maybe like an hour all night. And then that there, that whole Saturday, I was just like zonked out in, in the bed, just trying to sleep and recover. And uh, it, it's, you know, that was a very interesting day last, uh, last weekend. And so for me, it was like, great, what can we do um, to continue working to support? That's part of what I'm doing is supporting other missions in various different ways. And Ed and Val are, are closer, like my spiritual family here. And so I'm so blessed to be able to help them out with that kind of stuff. So in the midst of all of this, we learned that a family that Danny and I really respect and like a lot, um, they're, they're, the father was gone for like three weeks working. And so she was trying to repair her son's bike and she didn't have the tools. And I was like, oh, I've got the tools. Like I'm trying to outfit myself where I have some tools that I can help people with. And and so I, I went over there with Daniela and we ended up fixing her bicycle her for her son, uh, getting all the inner tubes replaced, all the tires replaced and getting that for them. And we had dinner and it was, it was just a really, really, really fun time. And so, to be able to bless this family was incredible. Well, not even a week later, we learned that the father is planning on taking the daughter to the States. And so I'm gonna have more about this in my newsletter, but for the most part, um, Danny and I decided to go over and just um, love on them and, and talk to them and try and just encourage them to, to stay. They're going to be taking the human traffickers, the coyotes, and um, basically trying to figure out what that looks like. And so Danny and I at least wanted to, to share with them that we love them. And um, there's uh, some other stuff involved in this, but uh, Danny and I ended up spending a whole night just, just sh hanging out with their family. And I ended up taking some pictures with their family and loving on them. You can be praying for that situation. I'm not quite sure what the end result will be as we're kind of in limbo of they haven't left yet. It's it's pretty sad for Danny and I because they're, they're their family is very close to us and the father is actually gonna take the daughter um, with him. So, um, cause it's a lot easier to get across the border if you have a child with you. So you can just be praying for that situation. I think we're still processing what all is happening and it's it's kind of sad for Danny and I because there's so many different people that leave for the states illegally and um, we love them and we, we, we want to support them and we don't necessarily support the act but we want to support the people so I think in the midst of all of this one of the biggest things that I'm learning is how to love Daniela well. How to be a good husband. You know, I, I moved to a new country. I've stopped, I've stopped language school. I've started working again. I just got married. Like, if you think about pivotal things in your life, I have things that really impact you when they change. Like, all of these things are so, 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 so big. And yet, they're all happening all at once. And so, for me, trying to figure out how to do this life has been something that's been challenging. And so if you could continue to pray about that as well, that would be huge because I am struggling with certain aspects of this life. And yet God is showing up at time and time again with all of that. So I guess when I look back, I see the fruit that God has been bringing to the table with so many different things. And yet I know in August and September, video production stuff is going to go up like this. And Ed and Val are gonna be heading out to furlough sometime. Next week, I will be filming an organization called The Micro Project, and they basically help young men get off the streets in Tegus from drugs, alcohol, I mean, 
you name it, they help. They help with that. Uh, they need an update, updated video, and so I'm like, yeah, I would love to help you guys. I'm actually going to come back to the states from the 13th to the 24th of August to help film Adventure Each. I normally help out with him every single year for the summer, but obviously I'm in Honduras, so I told him I would do one week this year. And so that's that's why I'm coming back for a little bit. When I get back to Honduras, I will be continuing working with the Micro Project for another week or so. And sadly, my wife cannot join me, one due to work and two because she doesn't have a visa yet. So getting a visa is challenging. And everyone seems to have a different way of how they did it and how they're doing it. And it feels very intimidating to me and I don't know what the best way to approach this is. And so if you could be praying that Danny and I would have wisdom in how to go about this. For the most part, it takes a long time normally. All in all, I'm super excited about this adventure that we're doing. There's so many changes, so many things that we're working on. And so really appreciate your support. Really appreciate you, you guys loving us well. And this is the first update where you are not just supporting me, but you're supporting us. So, we really appreciate it. And for all of you who are supporting, it really means a lot. And it does make a difference. It really does. So, thank you for your finances. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for just loving as well. And I'm trying to do the Lord's work. Thank you for coming alongside. Super excited about the next, you know, couple weeks, and August is going to be crazy busy. So, let's go. Let's do this well. Bye.